So here I am on the Gatabon loop walk, which I did, and I came across some lovely, lovely dry stone walls. So I decided to make a video about those and to show you how to map dry stone walls. And there we go. Before I actually go and map some of the dry stone walls that I came across on my walk, I want to bring to your attention the Dry Stone Wall Association of Ireland. Yes, that is a thing. And you can become a member and you can donate to them. And they have events where you they show you how to build a dry stone wall or to restore a dry stone wall. And I think that's a really good thing to do. They're also trying to get the dry stone walls in Ireland declared World Heritage uh, with the UNESCO. So there's a call for support there on their website and you can go and support that if you want to. And there's more information about dry stone walls there. So a dry stone wall is basically a wall that doesn't use any mortar. And... There are several reasons why you can do that and um, why people have done that. And Ireland is not unique in having dry stone walls. There is a very famous example in Italy. Uh, in And I'll just look it up on Wikipedia. The, they are called Trullo. The plural is Trulli. And they're dry stone um, huts. I think they're round. And this is what it looks like. So if you look up Trullo on uh, Wikipedia, you'll find it. And they are already a UNESCO World Heritage. And they think that they were built for people, um, usually agricultural buildings. So they're not just walls, they're whole buildings, little houses. And I think you can actually rent them now, some of them. And they have corbelled roofs. So it's a bit like on Skellig Michael. I haven't been there, but I've heard of it. And um, they have rendering now. But um, on the inside are all dry stone walls, which is, of course, much easier in Italy, but you don't get a lot of rain. So there are a few buildings like that in Ireland as well. And I think they're mostly for um, like semi-permanent um, structures, like in bullying villages, like on Ackle Island. You might have heard of that lost village. I think I mentioned it in another video. And um, So bullying is when you go up, um, send your young people up with the cattle onto the Bully, which is the or bulia, which is the it's a kind of a meadow that's only used in the summer, and they stay there. And because it's summer, it doesn't rain as much, and they might only have very um, flimsy roofs. I'm not sure, but it's, um, they're not cold in the houses in in the summer, so that's okay. And then they they can be taken down, and with the walls as well, they can be easily taken down if you need to get access to a meadow or something like that. And there are some examples here on the Dry Stone Wall Association's website um, in their um, in their photo show here, this one. So you can take the middle bit out easily if you have to bring the cattle in or sheep and then put it back together because you don't have to wait for to make mortar and you have don't have to wait for mortar to set and so on. I'm digressing. So there's the map and it is actually in County Leash, just about south of Collar Hill. And the Gatabon walking trail or hiking trail really takes this diversion from the main road and you can cut that out, but you'll miss most of the dry stone walls and the best views. The best views are really along here. And I maybe I was just very lucky with the weather, but I could see Collar Hill Castle and I could look like really, really far, maybe even Duro, but I didn't know it was Duro. And the Gatabon Rural Development Group put a bench there. That's very kind of them. So you can sit there. I've, I mapped the bench, obviously, and the viewpoint. And you can sit there and admire the view. And there are a couple of styles here. So I've already added some of the walls here and there, those gray lines. And I'm just going to go into the satellite view and add a few more. It's very simple. You just have to be logged in with your username, of course. And log in and choose your satellite imagery. And so the path is along here, along the wall, and there is one of those walls. You can see the gray line maybe. And I'm just gonna follow that from the townland boundary. It's fairly straight, it seems. Maybe I'll do it a bit more precise and I can zoom in even more. And this is really something you have to do there you have to survey it on the ground because you might not be able to tell that this is actually a dry stone wall from the satellite imagery. So you draw a line with the line tool and then you go over here and either type in wall. I won't do that now, 
but because I've already added some, it comes up here on the side as wall. And I click, just click on that and you've already de defined it as a wall like that. But of course you want to define it as a dry stone wall. So over here, type, um, I don't know why you would have no type because then it wouldn't be a wall, but you can already see that dry stone is one of the suggestions. So you can just either click in the field and choose dry stone from the list and you can just look through whatever in your own time. So I'll just click on dry stone and that's, that's all you have to do really. And then you save it, but I just want to add a couple more here. Um, for example, around here seems to be one. I'm just going to be careful. Some of them might have collapsed already. So I don't want to add too many that aren't actually dry stone walls. So I should probably just add the ones that I walked along because I know for certain they were. So here and here, there seems to be a gap there. And of course, as I said with the tr trulli, um, the you don't just get walls, you get whole buildings. And this one is an example here. And I remember it well because I took many pictures of it. So this is the whole building was built out of dry stone. There was no roof on it anymore, but all the walls, all that was left from the walls, it's only a ruin, were dry stone. So you can also add that. And I would think that you probably have to use um, material would be dry stone then. Yeah, so that comes up straight away. So that is an established tag. So that's okay to do that. This wall here was also dry stone. I've already defined that. And then, yeah, that was it. And I remember walking along here. They were also dry stone walls. I've already done all that. And then there was another one here. So I'll add that as well dry stone and I remember that there was one going through that forest here so yeah I remember seeing that wall dry stone and I have been in contact with the dry stone wall association of Ireland it's a very long name and they were very interested in what I'm doing and they were hoping or they were saying that it would be great to have all the dry stone walls in Ireland mapped and recorded of course it would be but somebody has to do that and that's all up to you now so I think it would be a great project for Heritage Week for example if you have dry stone walls in your area they're not common everywhere in Ireland but if you're high enough or in the west in the burn or somewhere plenty of dry stone walls, uh, walls there that you can map as dry stone walls and then we're a little closer to that goal and maybe someone also wants to invite one of the speakers from the Drystone Wall Association to their community and they can tell you more about dry stones and how and why and how long and all of that. So I'm going to end this here and upload and put in added dry stone walls. So I'm spelling it in one word. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm not spelling it in one word but I use the hashtag dry stone. So if you want to go and map more of them, you can also use that hashtag. So we can search for those kinds of change sets later on. And sources is Esri World Imagery Clarity Data. Just chose the longest one. And also of course survey because I was there. And I'll upload this. And while we're waiting for this to go through, I'll show you on my pillory where that is because I think the imagery is now available that I uploaded from there because I took Im imagery all along the walk. So I walked for about 14 kilometers. Not all of it was dry stone walls, obviously, but a bit. And I just hope that it's there already. I just have to find where it is, but was this kind of a forest shape? Uh, it's not all there yet, but this bit will do. So I walk this way anti-clockwise. I'll click on this. And make the picture bigger. So you see the dry stone wall on the side here. And there's cattle in the field. 
And there wasn't really a path. Like, you can only see that maybe some people have walked there before me, but that is the hiking path. So I just go along. I not, might not have gotten the angle right all the time. There's the little marker for the for the trail. So that's a bit better. That's a bit higgledy piggledy. Because I didn't I've lost my I had lost my selfie stick, which made it usually a bit easier to walk along with the phone because I had to hold it like this the whole time. 14 kilometers wasn't the most comfortable thing to do. So you get the idea, it looks like I didn't make any progress walking there, but I did. I'll just go closer to that little ruin there. So you can already see the view a little bit here to the left and a trail marker here. And there is part of that ruin. So if you just walk around, follow the trail I walked. So there's one of those dry stone walls. And I just try to walk around that ruin a little bit to get an idea. Anyway, that's what the dry stone wall looks like in County Leash. And it depends a bit on the material, of course, uh, what the natural material is. And of course, it was used by people who couldn't afford to import fancy other material. Um, because it was usually rural communities, um, people who were keeping cattle and sheep. So if I wanted to find out where in Ireland there have been dry stone walls mapped already and buildings made out of dry stone, I should go to Overpass Turbo. So HTTPS, HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, Overpass Turbo. And I used it the last time in Wales, so that's okay. Zoom out a little and I'll open the wizard. And the tag is, should be, wall equals dry underscore stone and I'm looking in Ireland and that's only the south only republic and I'll click on build query and I can delete the node because walls usually aren't just nodes they're usually ways or even relations and this should only find the walls I would have to have a second query for the buildings so I'm just gonna focus on the walls now and delete the timeout it shouldn't really take too long but just to make it um, not interfere too much. So I haven't tried this before. I don't know how many will come up. Fingers crossed that there, I did everything right. And I'll hit run and we'll see. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Large amounts of data, three megabyte. I'll continue anyway. So that's quite a bit. So I didn't really expect that much. So the bits I did are, should be here. Yeah. So these are some of the walls I um, had added earlier and that I added today. It just looks a bit crowded when you zoom out. And it seems like there's quite a few done in Galway. I would have to zoom in to know for certain. Isn't that the burn already? I'm not super familiar with that area. Yeah, it is. So some of them are done. That's great. Keep on doing it, people. Well done so far. That's a lot here. And I would expect some on Ackle Island as well. Yeah. And I might actually have been the culprit there. Is that where the village is? No, I think it's further west here. Yeah, so this is the last village in on Ackle Island, and you see some of the walls have been mapped as dry stone. So that's that's really much better than I expected. So people are mapping their heritage, well done. And still a lot to do, I'm sure. So I hope the Dry Stone Wall Association will be pleased seeing this. There's a lot done. It doesn't look great now on this map because um I might look different if I do I don't want to mess with it too much now. Um, there are ways to make it look a bit prettier, but I won't do that now because this is not what the video is about. So I hope you found that interesting. I certainly did, well, finding all these maps already anyway. And don't forget to look up the Turli in Italy. I'll put a link to Wikipedia in the description and there might actually be Mapillary. I didn't check that out. That would be great.
So you can go and walk around that village. And if you like this kind of content, please go and visit the website of the Dry Stone Wall Association and maybe make a donation. You can also, of course, donate to OpenStreetMap Ireland by going to openstreetmap.ie and you can also become a member. Our AGM is coming up soon. So if you want to be involved in that, you can become a member and get a vote. And we're always looking for new members and more so looking for actual people to, who map. But if you want to be one of us properly, politically, so to speak, you can become a member. And we also offer corporate um, membership, which we had last year. We had two um, members who had some work done by members of our community and also did a little bit of mapping themselves. So that's always very welcome to have that support and Thank you for watching as usual and I hope to see you in the next video. Slán!